Welcome back to the show. Our first guest this morning was the star of the motion picture Caddyshack, Meatballs, and also the TV program Saturday Night Live. Welcome, please, Bill Murray. What's the matter? Well, I've been drinking all night long. <laughs> I haven't slept, and I had a gyros last night on 42nd Street around 3.30 in the morning. Explain what those are. Well, it's, uh, it's some sort of Greek plot to take over the world mm -hmm. and destroy our Italian community here in New York. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's uh, sliced uh, lamb that's cooked over a radar range for two or three weeks. <laughs> And it's served in the middle of the night on 42nd Street to the kind of people that are on 42nd yeah. Street. Yeah. It's part of the mayor's campaign to clean up Times Square. <laughs> so, Rugged. Uh, so you're, it's... you're hurting then, huh? Well, a lot of things are bothering me. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it's this Donahue thing that I'm so upset about. It's, what uh, Donahue well, thing? Well, how many people here think that The Letterman Show is one of the finest things that's ever happened? <laughs> How many, now, I did not come out here before and say I was going to say that, did I? Am no, I right? You really didn't. What a, what a guy, though. And huh? to think that this, this man, Phil Donahue, this horrible man, is, no, wait a is such a big hit, and a man like this is no, no, having no. to take part-time jobs no. in this city. <laughs> Now, uh, you, you, just, you just can't come out here and unload on Phil like well, that. Well, I've got there... some information that I think ho and hope will damage this man's career. <laughs> uh, I found out. I am, not, I am not sure of this, so I should put this all in quotation marks. There's a very real possibility that Phil Donahue is seeing my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not positive, but last night... Last night, she sleeps in the room next to me. I've always kept my entire family, my aunts right and uncles, we're house. all in the same yeah. place. Last night, I heard crying oh. just about dawn. And it was my grandmother, and then I heard a voice that I thought I recognized say, well, don't you think, if he's the president's brother, that he should know better than to hang out with a man like Gaddafi, who hates the United States? And it was... And... <laughs> That she was crying, I broke in, and he was gone, which makes me think it was him, because from what I understand, he gets up very early in the morning, does a lot of sit-ups, and does his, his children's laundry. So, so I think that it was him, and he just ran out to do the sit-ups and the laundry. And she's crying, and this bluebeard is running around, you know, getting my grandmother's name off a of Reader's Digest mailing list. I don't know where she went. She rarely leaves the house. So he, you know, uh, riding commuter trains, you know, scoring with older women oh. for a copy of his autographed book. I mean, so, it's just sick. You're saying that he, Phil, is kind of a hit-and-run artist? There? Well, like I say, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. but, so but, I may uh, be wrong. Well, it looks like you've got, uh, uh, without a doubt, overwhelming evidence to support well, I've, that. I've got a case, and... Yeah. Uh, I'm not uh, without influence in the city of Chicago. Uh -huh. You're now you spent some time in Chicago, so you could. Uh... I've done time in Joliet. <laughs> too. Uh, I've done yes, time I in a few. To, I noticed that one in the notes. I saw that. Um, now we were gonna we were gonna try and do that. Do you think there's any? Uh, I guess that's out of the question, though. Call Phil Dunny. Yeah, we were gonna try. Wouldn't and call... that be perfect? <laughs> Let's call if we let's call Phil Donahue. No. I want to tell. I want to tell Phil Donahue that I'm going to kill him. No, 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 no. I don't care. No, you can't. No, see, he's just joking. Can we do here. this? Just... Can we do this? Uh, Can I... we kill Phil Donahue? No. Oh, I... Can I threaten him? I think that there's some sort of federal law against threatening another man's life on network TV. I, I don't know. As strange as that sounds, I think there may be a law uh, dealing with that. Uh, we'll run this through legal. And uh, we'll pause here for some commercials, and we'll come back and see if we can't. Uh... Right. Welcome back. Bill Murray is here. that fan? <laughs> That's a talk show prerequisite, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Um, and we were just discussing uh, uh, 
Bill Murray's uh, fondness for Phil Donahue. And uh, let me, we were going to call Phil, but you can't, uh, we couldn't get that approved. Phil has to approve all his incoming calls, so we can't. We Isn't can't that do. typical? <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you, just, uh, is it just this thing? Grandma. With you? Is it just your thing? With you? Look. That's it? That's the only reason you're upset with Phil, is you, you think he and your grandmother are... Uh... Oh, my, uh, well, I also still resent what he did to Ted Bissell, you know, stealing Marlowe away from him. Uh, so... You know, and I, I think it's pretty much com it's common knowledge in the entertainment industry how Danny feels about Phil. Uh, you know, and what that man has done, and for Phil to treat Marlo like that, and for Danny to know it is it's, well, it's ugly. You know, I started out not having an opinion on this, but I'm I'm beginning to hate the man. Just uh... <laughs> now, uh, Bill also wanted to spend some time today. Bill is very helpful. He wanted to call either Phil Donahue. Uh, or he wanted to call someone in Maine to find out if the leaves had turned. <laughs> so we have all of that information here, so we'll put that away, and just in case we run, run short, we'll, we'll phone Maine. But uh, he was gracious enough to uh, consent to take audience questions. <laughs> this is very rare. I do this once a year. And, uh, I've cho uh, well, we're pleased that I've you're doing it here. This Let's morning turn up of, those house lights, as they say on TV. Oh. Yes, sir. What is your name, please? Uh, Don Hetherington. Where are you Na from? Naples, Maryland. Oh, good. Uh, hey, Bill, I'm having a rodent problem, and uh, I was wondering, what's the best humane way you can, uh, you know, kill the rodents? A rodent problem? The most humane way? Yeah. Is, uh, well, to eat them yourself. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. Thank you. Because you don't want a lot of uh, poisons and pesticides to run out into the atmosphere. It's just for you to just digest the rodent yourself. Really the best way. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much, Don. <laughs> yes, ma'am, what is your name, please? You know, uh, one, one thing is, is that some, maybe you have the problem and not the rodent. You ever, <laughs> it's possible. Think about it. Something. Yes, ma'am. Okay, my name is Michelle Krantz, and Bill, I used to be a bank teller, and I really want to ask you this question. What do you think is a fair interest rate for a home loan? <laughs> I don't know. That's, it's a tough question. And, tough. Uh, we, we one of the reasons I only do this once a year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is really more your field. I saw you working. Uh, uh, bank. I don't know. Uh, let me just. You mind if I take this? One? Uh, In Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna. Uh, Twenty-two percent. Sounds good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna turn these cards over because uh, Arlene Francis identified our guest earlier. And, <laughs> Uh, does that answer your question? Michelle? I think so. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Fun, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Where, where are you from? I'm from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. What is your name, sir? Yeah, uh, my question. <laughs> <laughs> this is going better than I'd hoped. <laughs> yes. What? I'm sorry. What is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Joseph Tardio. Yes, Joe. Do you have a question for uh, right. Mr. Murray or, or David? <laughs> I would uh, like to know where you can get a hot meal for a fair price. <laughs> well, I have to draw upon my many years. Uh, I, uh, there's one place on 42nd Street <laughs> where you can get a good gyros. But <laughs> go late because it's it ages. It ages. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. My name is Jean Ann Tardio, and I'm from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Also, uh, Bill, I wanted to ask you a question. You saw my husband, and he's a lot shorter than I am, and it embarrasses him sometimes. And I was wondering, um, <laughs> do you think this is ever going to hurt our relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Well, I think you have already many, many problems with this. <laughs> I don't think it's, I don't think uh, size has ever been a problem. I, uh, 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 I, I, I think you have so many problems that his size is really not that important. I think more importantly is p perhaps his drinking problem. <laughs> or, uh, your refusal to cook him a hot meal, perhaps, oh. at a decent, fair price. Yeah. You know. Thank you very much, man.
Okay, okay, okay. Help, help us out here. Help us out here. Mm -hmm. what, Hi. What, <laughs> Hi, what is your name? Alex Julian. I'm oh, from hello, Toronto. Alex. Where are you from? Toronto. Oh, Toronto is Toronto, a great Canada. city. It's a yeah. beautiful town. You ever been to Toronto? <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> you know, CN Tower. Okay. Great city. What is your question, Alex? Uh, first, I'd like to say I hope things work out with your grandmother. And I'd like to know uh, how you feel about strip mining and uh, what are the viable alternatives. <laughs> Strip mining, uh, you want me to compare and contrast it, or? Yeah, that, that would be fine. Strip mining uh, is, 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 uh, is, it's a very difficult subject to or address my stripping. early in the morning. I, I've just seen a, a few strip mines, and it, they're ugly, but uh, <laughs> if you stop strip mines, then all the strip miners are out of work. So what are you going to do? Uh, right. It's a kind of a John Anderson kind of a question. <laughs> I think we're out. That's it for the uh, the questions. Is there anything oh. you'd like to say before we wrap this up? I want to. First of all, I'd like to say it was very nice of you to field these questions. Tricky as <laughs> they were. <laughs> well, uh, it was because I didn't do my homework. I was supposed to have slides on my vacation, and I didn't get them developed. Well, maybe next time. Bill Murray, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. here again. Uh, thanks again. You know, you had an interesting comment during the commercial there. What was that, Bill? Oh, I'd heard that uh, Johnny Carson doesn't talk during the commercial breaks. Is so, that a fact? Oh, well, I hear it's a true story. No kidding. And, and, and you are here to verify that I talk to you during the commercial. Yeah. And this guy is so terrific. <laughs> the crowd is starved for entertainment. So which do you like better, uh, New York or Vegas? Uh, well... Vegas in the, in the summer, certainly. Yeah, oh, yeah. you can't meet Vegas. No. <laughs> what about love? Love's important, isn't it? Love's important, and I, I, I think that if you really love someone, you try to do for them what they don't know they need done. That's just great. That's Thank just you. great. Uh, well, okay, we, now we're not going to do that. Oh, no, no. No, that's all right. We don't have time. We have to, uh, we're, that's all right, Bill. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't you worry. We'll get this ironed out, and we'll be right back. It's a pleasure for me to introduce my first guest twice with credits that include yeah. Saturday Night Live, the films Meatballs, Caddyshack, Where the Buffalo Roam and Stripes. Bill Murray has become one of the top box office draws in show business. And besides that, he's a very funny man. And it's a pleasure to have him as our next to the last show guest. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Murray.
That, uh, this is, this guy is a professional. If you kids at home want to try something like this, don't forget the protective cake goggles. Now you got to have them. You're playing with fire without the goggles. Bill, nice to see you. God bless you. How are you? You're looking good, Dave. I, I, feel, I feel good. I think I have some goo here. How have you been, my friend? I have been all kinds of ways. Really? Which ones would you like to hear about? Well, let's. I, I know you're a busy man. Tell us what you've been doing, what you've been working on, what's going down. Well, <clears throat> I, I did a Christmas show with Paul Schaefer. Oh, that's right. This and uh, yes, fantastic show. We tell him about it for for uh, Netflix. I, I tell you who's on it, Paul. Help me. Are you kidding? Everybody. That's your point, Dexter. Is right. it? Jenny um, Lewis is in Jenny it. Jenny Lewis is great. Are you it? kidding? Uh, um, Jason, uh, Jason Schwartzman. Schwartzman is in it. Uh, Rashida Jones. She's fantastic in it. Um, I know I'm forgetting people, which is a problem. You know, you rarely directed directed by the same woman who directed. Oh, Sofia Coppola. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And her You're brother not eat Roman. That. You're no, this is one of the few times you can eat off your shoe. <laughs> We'll be right back. You gotta take it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? I forgot someone on the show, but I also forgot um, Stevie. Oh, God. Stevie, Stevie. What? What's going on? Oh, my God. I left oh, you guys in there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Get out of here. Rachel and Stevie. Oh, oh I'm Dave. sorry. Rachel. Careful. Say hi. Careful. Oh, Easy. Hi. How are sorry. you? Sorry. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Oh, my God. I, you, you look like your sisters. Are you? Uh, does, this, does this smell bad to you? Does it stink? Smell, it smells bad fine to me. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine. You can, do it, you can do it again if you like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> thank, oh, and thank you for the flower. <laughs> you are okay. also in the cake. Well, <laughs> we'll be right back with Bill Murray. <laughs> Bill, it's so nice to see you. You know, I just let me let me tell you a, a little thing that's important to me. I hope it's important to you. Uh, you were on our first show here. Uh, you were on our first show at NBC, and you became such a, a big part of our program that the doors through which you entered the first time you were on this show. Uh, were immediately named and still today are referred to as the Bill Murray Doors. Right over there, it's the first exit. The Bill Murray Doors. Part of show vernacular. If somebody is going to make an exit or an entrance, we always say, oh, look at that. They'll come through the Bill Murray Doors. So, that was an exciting day. The, <laughs> anytime was... you're here, anytime I'm around you is an exciting day. <laughs> now, let's talk about the anniversary of Caddyshack. Hmm. Is it 50 years, 40 years, it's 20 years? 2,000 years since Caddyshack. Two? No, it's, uh, really? no, I think it's, it was 1980 or something uh -huh. like that. So it's, do the math. It's like 30 years. 30 years, yeah. No, it's 35 years. And, and, and the nice thing about that movie is uh, written by uh, your, your brother, and then you just came in for a little cameo, and you stole the movie. They had you come back, and you ad-libbed most of your stuff in the movie. That's right. fantastic. And has become part of... Uh, film, legend, and lore. Well, it, it was a lot of fun. There were a lot of really funny people. Actually, my brother Brian wrote it with Doug Kenny, a great founder of the Lampoon, and Harold Ramis. The three of them, Harold directed it. And uh, there was Rodney Dangerfield in the movie Chevy Chase, um, Sarah Holcomb, some really cute girls. And, uh, and it was fun. And it was, it was, you know, in those days, if you went to Florida to work in the winter, it was like, who wanted to leave? Yeah. So we made it take as long as possible. Yeah. And, but your scenes, you just thought of them as you were there, the, the, the goofball groundskeeper. Yeah, that was, you know, that was, you know, that's sort of the only thing I could do. There wasn't much written for me. So, yeah. I, you know, and they, they liked what I was doing. And they, I'd go back to work at Saturday night, and they'd say, hey, you want to come back? I'm like, yeah, I'll come back. Well, actually, I wouldn't even work on Saturday. Yeah, I was. Um, they'd say, come on back again, I'd say, sure. So it was a lot of fun. The kind of most memorable thing is they gave, I had this rent-a-car, this, uh, it was like a green, money green Lincoln car, you know, like a big old Lincoln. And uh, when I left, uh, they said, okay, uh, where should I put the car? I said, well, just put, leave it there on the set. And I left it underneath a tree. 
And uh, like four months later, they said, hey, Bill, where's that car? <laughs> and it was still underneath the tree. I mean, acorns and debris and animals and birds. And it was a mess. Show business. Show biz. Yeah, that's you know, right. These Just things, leave it under these the tree. things make a career, Dave. They, they <laughs> yeah, really do. Right. They add up. Now, uh, when we come back, we want to show a retrospective of your uh, behavior on our program, okay? <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back, everybody. Fantastic. Same key. We have a, uh, this is a, uh, a compilation, a montage of uh, all of your appearances. And uh, at the end, we'll chat about wh what you remember of those experiences, okay? Okay. <laughs> Take a look. Bill Murray, through the years. Welcome, please. Bill Murray. I'm in a real ugly mood this What's the matter? Morning. What's the matter? Well, I've been drinking all night long. Bill Murray is here. He's got a brand new cookbook, Bill Murray Cooking with Toast. Where'd you get the idea for this, Bill? I love toast. <laughs> pain now? Well, um, I don't know. <clears throat> oh, I you know, they give you the pills, you <laughs> yeah, know. It's hard, to, <laughs> hard to say. I don't really think they help, but <laughs> I've forgotten a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> My favorite condiment. Me, Absolutely, me without too. question. Geez, I wonder who this could be. Hello? It's me, you jerk. <laughs> The great Bill Murray. Oh, Bill. You're the best. Thank you for everything. It's a lot of fun. That was really fun. Yeah. You know, and I, I hate to be one of those guys, but, I, you know, I just, do you really, you know, I know you've thought about this a lot, and, you know, but it's really... I'm sorry, I gotta do a little product placement first. What? Yeah, a lot of people called me and said, hey, I know you're gonna be on the show. Would you mind wearing my t-shirt or showing uh, my, my toaster oven or something? I finally showing settled, my toaster yeah, oven. I finally He's... settled on this one. It's a brand of vodka called Slovenia Vodka. It's from the people of Slovenia. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> They're paying you to Well, do this? Uh, he's a friend, and I eat there for free. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> it's over there in the Ninas. If you ever get over in the Nina world, it's over there, the Ninas. And we, we played them in hockey a couple weeks ago and beat them, and they were the greatest, most gracious losers. <laughs> and a shot? Yeah, sure. What? Uh... No, come on, cannonball. No, here. Come on. <laughs> Is there any more cake? <laughs>
It's smooth, folks. It's smooth. <laughs> it's smooth. It's, uh, it goes down like a, like Slovenian uh, mother's milk. <laughs> I remember. <clears throat> that was good. That was good. Yeah. No, I, it just, I, you have the world, uh, you know, on a string. You know, it's all going your way, and... I know that you feel you've thought about this that you really should leave and everything, but I don't know if that's right. I'm getting, you know, I'm, I don't know if that's right, dude. Well, now, I appreciate the sentiment, but one wonders is it the vodka talking here? <clears throat> well, I will find out. <laughs> you know, you got it. You've had a wonderful run. Mm. You know, you fell in love. You married a virgin who gave birth to a, a, a like a, a, an infant, you know, you know, a god child, really, you know. And then the, gr the great news is, then your wife gave up the virgin thing completely. Good for you. Come on. And uh, it's all you've been rolling ever since. So it's been great. <clears throat> it's great for you. But what about the rest of us? Oh, come on. Oh, don't be that way, Dave. Don't be that way. I'm just saying, you know. No, I'm just saying, I don't, you know, and I know that you've had the heads of government here. Bill Clinton was here. George Clooney was here. Various. <laughs> he was here for a long time. You're, you're here. I'm here. And all we, everyone's trying to get you to stay. We want you to stay and, and not give up. We just want more, Dave. Mm -hmm. Just more. More. You know, it's been great. It's been great to see you. I mean, when you first came here, you were just a, a tubby kid fr from the Hoosierville, you know? <laughs> and now you look great. Yeah, you've, you've been working out, yeah. and <laughs> everything is going your way. It's been great to see you grow from that tubby little Hoosier to, yeah. to the man you well, are today. Well, the best today. part of it is uh, friendships, the friendship you've brought to this program. Thank you for that. I can't, I can't, I can't lean on you as a friend. I can't put any pressure on you as a friend. I, I don't want to be the person to say, you know, that you have to do this. I, I just think that the people have to speak, and I don't think my place is here trying to, you know, crowbar you into staying for another 30, 30 years. I don't think that's my, I don't think I should do that. Right. I think this is really something that uh, is up to the American people to do, and I'm, and I'm just going to be one person to try to organize this, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. We'll be right back with Bob Dylan.